Lately, a lot of people have been asking me, where do I get my hamsters? So that is what we're going to be talking about in this video. I think a lot of people just assume you just go to the pet store and you pick out a hamster and you bring them home and that is where you get hamsters. But is that the best choice? So for myself, I do not support large chain pet stores simply because they do not ethically source their animals. Large chain pet stores are pet stores that have many locations in various areas like PetSmart, Petco, Petland, uh, Pets at Home, all of these places have very many stores all over across the world. And in order for them to keep up with supply and demand of animals, they need to have a big supply of pets to be able to sell. So where do they get these pets? Pet mills. If you don't know what a pet mill is, it essentially is a big warehouse like a factory of breeding animals. It's absolutely awful. They are put into filthy, overcrowded enclosures with minimal bedding and no enrichment or accessories except for some food and some water. And there have been times where the animals actually have been so starving that they've decided to eat each other. So these breeders are not breeding to better the species at all. They're not trying to improve the health, temperament, or type of these species. They simply are breeding quantity over quality. They will take a female animal and they will breed and breed and breed and breed and breed her until basically she can't breed anymore and then they get rid of her. So with an ethical breeder, there is a certain cutoff period of between like how long you should actually breed a female for. You should give her time in between litters and once she gets to a certain age, it's best to not breed them anymore. Pet mills don't care about that. Another thing pet mills don't care about is genetics. They don't care what history the animal has, like if their family line has a history of any types of illnesses or diseases, tumors, things like that. They don't care. They're going to breed them regardless because they think of animals as little products and they just don't care about the health of them. In fact, many hamsters and other animals don't even make it to the pet store because they pass before they even get there due to all of the neglect and abuse they have to suffer through. So those are the reasons that I do not personally support large chain pet stores for purchasing animals. I do not want to help continue any more animals having to suffer through that, having to be bred for people to buy. The only way to discontinue pet mills is to stop the demand altogether, which means not buying pets from pet stores. Now I know people will say, well, isn't it saving a pet if you're buying them from a pet store? Yes and no, because you're saving that pet right there and then, and you're going to help them and give them a good life, which is great. But you're just opening up another spot for the pet store to make another order and say, hey, we need this many more hamsters to fill the spot, which means they have to breed more, which means more animals end up getting neglected, abused. It's not a good cycle. So if you shouldn't get a hamster from a pet store, where should you get them? Well, there are two good methods of obtaining a hamster. The first one being adoption. This is a great way to help an animal in need. Um, it also helps shelters be able to bring in more animals because if you adopt one, they are going to have more room to bring in and help another animal. Of course, it isn't as common to see hamsters in shelters because most shelters do focus more on cats and dogs, but it is always a really good idea to just check anyways because there could be a hamster waiting there for their future home. Some good rescues such as the Pip Squeakery, Munchie's Place for Homeless Pets, and the Great Canadian Hamster Rescue and Sanctuary all are great rescues that focus on small animals and hamsters and are really a good place to adopt from. Some other great websites that can help you find an adoptable hamster in your area would include petfinder.com, adoptapet.com, and pettango.com. These are websites where you type in what type of pet you want. You can put the age, the coloring, gender, things like that, and it will look through and it will try to find uh, 
adoptable pets that meet your criteria. Another method of adoption is one that I personally generally like to go for because there's not a lot of hamsters in shelters here. So I tend to look on buy and sell websites like Craigslist, Kijiji, and Gumtree. These are buy and sell websites so anybody in your area can sell anything they have including animals. So a lot of people will put up their animals up for adoption because they no longer can care for them or for many other reasons and it's a great way to give an animal a home. Of course, keep in mind if you're going with this option, don't ever go alone to somebody's house. Take somebody with you or meet up in a public place. I don't want anybody to get murdered or killed. <laughs> And then lastly, there is ethical breeders, which these are super important in order for a species to improve itself, whether it be through health, temperament, or type. Now, the important part is that you find an actual ethical breeder as purchasing from an unethical breeder is not the same thing. An ethical breeder is someone whose number one goal is to overall better the species. So they are not in it for cute babies, they're not in it because they want to make a profit. In fact, most ethical breeders do not make a profit at all because they are putting more money into breeding than they are getting out of it. So when looking for an ethical breeder, there are a couple of questions you are going to want to ask them first to make sure they are an actual ethical breeder. The first question is, why are you breeding? Now, if once again they say anything like, I just wanted cute babies, or I wanted to witness the miracle of birth, or I want to make money, then don't go with this breeder. Another good question to ask is, what care did the mother and litters receive? It's really important they're giving their hamsters proper care, especially pregnant hamsters. They need a lot of supplements, and if you notice they're using anything unsafe towards their hamsters, like tiny cages, unsafe substrates, or just anything strange, I would avoid them. The next question I would ask is, at what age do you rehome your pups? If the breeder says anything less than six weeks of age, I would avoid them because hamster pups really should not be rehomed until after six weeks of age. In fact, most ethical breeders will not rehome until eight weeks of age. Another good thing to ask is, do your hamsters receive veterinary treatment? It's really important they say yes. If they say no, then they're not getting their hamsters veterinary treatment and they're not actually caring for their hamsters properly. You'll also want to avoid any breeder who cannot properly spell the species name if they're like misspelling it, avoid them. As well as if they're using any made up names, like they say they're breeding teddy bear hamsters or panda bear hamsters or fancy bear hamsters or a flying unicorn hamster, avoid them. Unfortunately, there isn't a ton of ethical breeders out there. There are more popping up now, which is really great because they are super important to help us have more healthy hamsters who can live longer lifespans rather than shorter lifespans. There's a lot of people who often ask me, well, what if a pet store is my only option? And I honestly would say to just wait until a hamster comes up for adoption because eventually one will there's always going to be someone with an accidental litter who needs to rehome pups or somebody who just doesn't want their hamster anymore or can't care for them anymore. And when one does come up for adoption, you will feel so much better waiting rather than just going out and supporting a pet store that is not a good cause. So I really hope this video is able to help some people determine where they are going to go in the future to get their new furry friend. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Bye!